To be more is first to imagine more. University of uh, Manchester professor Brian Cox said, inspiration is economically quantifiable. Creativity is not the monopoly of artists. It is free, it is available to all. To be more is first to imagine more. Creativity grants me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The chief executive of the Arts Council asked me, he did, he, 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 he said, uh, what can art do? And this was my answer. The great religions are promulgated through society by art. Christianity would be invisible without the Bible. Likewise, Islam and the Quran both are promoted through story, performance, song, literature, and app works of art. Art is a time traveller. Art is an omnipresent teller of story. It is more effective than CNN, BBC and Sky News put together. Art is in all of the poems read at all of the funerals and weddings that have happened somewhere in the world on every day of every year of your life, from every class, race, gender and sexuality of human being. The freedom to write is a sign of a free society. Art is the greatest symbol, the greatest expression of freedom. No wonder writers are a threat to repressive regimes. It's because of the greatness and the importance of books. There are more words and images passing between more people now than since the beginning of time. We are at the beginning of understanding the greatness of this opportunity through the internet. Yet art bridges the gap between the spiritual world and the physical one. At times of great need, uh, trauma, loss, celebration, reunion, hope, introduction, we need the bridge. We need art. It's why there's song, it's why there's poetry, it's why there's dance, it's why there's music, it's why there's novels. What can art do? Art saves lives. People need the bridge over the troubled waters because art is life. This is not an exaggeration. Take away the poems. Take away, take away the poems from yesterday. Take away the songs, the paintings, the music, and leave citizens bereft of expression and their madness, utter madness, lies. Art and creativity offer quality of life and of experience here, now. The fundamental power of art is to articulate in be more, be more. We need to be lifted. We turn to art. We turn to art and creativity because it is the greatest, truest expression of humanity available to all. And all things are possible in the eye of the creative mind. To be more is first to imagine more.